Hey there folks, it is Rob, and I wanted to come on here really quick before I start this video just to explain a few things. Um, what you're about to see is a collaboration with the Movie Busters, uh, minus Dan. Um, we all filmed scenes on our own and compiled them together to make a movie, a short film, so to say. Uh, I have a lot of short films on my channel, and uh, this one has Alex, Thomas, and then, uh, unfortunately, Julie Cassidy, who is not part of the group anymore. And uh, it sucks that she's a part of this movie because we no longer associate with her. Uh, because she did some things to us back then where, uh, you know, she just blocked us for no reason, saying we did this and that. You know, made fun of her or something that we we were angry at her. I'm not going to get into the whole thing, but it's just a bunch of bullshit drama that uh, we don't want. And it was a big mistake letting her into the movie Busters to replace Dan because no one can replace Dan. Um, and it was a big mistake. But she is unfortunately a big part of this movie. Uh, it sucks that we can't just cut her out, but you know she's one of the main characters. So yeah, whatever. Um, but I am posting this because I feel like Alex and Thomas and I all put in some really great effort. And there's some good scenes. And I worked my ass off to put this thing together because there was so much footage. And I am so happy with the result. Uh, you know, this is a no-budget film. It's a short film. You know, like I said, there's a lot of short films on my channel. Um, but... This one I'm proud of, you know, the movie Busters Together. Hopefully one of these times we can get Dan involved and we can make another short film with all of us. But uh, that's the reason why I'm posting this. I got Alex's permission and I got Thomas' permission. So, uh, yeah, I'm just posting it because of that. Not to give Julie Cassidy any recognition. Um, she don't need any recognition as far as I'm concerned. Because she's been doing this to other people too, blocking them for no reason, starting drama. Whatever, that's her, that's the life she wants to live, let her live it. Um, but anyway, that's not why I'm uploading this video. It's for us, and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's getting close to dark time. I'm outside. I'm gonna see if I can find any footprints. If I do, I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of one of my friends here and try to get them to believe me. And get them all, get them all together and show what I'm, what I'm about to show them. tracks here. What am I doing here? Oh no, he's... Oh man, the guys aren't going to believe this. There's a big old hole. That wasn't there yesterday. Oh, we're good. Yep, the guys are definitely not going to believe this. I gotta find out what that creature is so we can kill it somehow. Try to destroy it. They are not gonna believe me. What is that? That wind is getting heavier by the minute. That wind is getting heavier. Whew. It's really 
chilly over here too. I've been having some really strange phenomena myself too. I don't know what it is, but I've been finding footsteps. I'll take you along the journey a little bit with me in the deeper part of the woods. You can tell by the wind it's raining over here too. is I gotta see there's so many of whatever it is out there I gotta go look I gotta see what's been keeping me awake yeah that's it I'm gonna go get my flashlight I'm gonna go out there and see if I can find any trails I do, I gotta, I gotta do something. I gotta get some sleep somehow. Hey Thomas, you got a few minutes to talk? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I have been trying to tell you and Rob and Alex this, but so far I haven't had any luck and y'all believe in me. But it, it's happened again last night. I've heard those howlings and they sounded so close. I wasn't able to sleep last night. It's going on the third night. No sleep. I can't even take a nap. I've tried that. Nothing works. I've been experiencing some really weird things that you've been experiencing as well. I don't know if this is like some sort of connection or something like that, but I, I, we gotta talk about it for a second. What? You serious? 
You having the same issues too now? Wow, tell, tell me about it. What, what have you been seeing and hearing? I mean, I've been hearing footsteps. I, I was out last night, things like that. I was, I heard footsteps, it was all dark. Like I heard leaves rustling around. It was windy and it was raining out. It was things like that. It was so deep in the woods and I was just, at first I didn't really believe you because I thought it was just like some sort of a joke. But now that I was outside last night and I was hearing things, I think there's a little bit of a connection. Oh, man. Look, we, we got to convince Rob and Alex. I tell you what, you call Alex and I'll try to get a hold of Rob and talk to him. And we'll just go from there. We really need to. Really got to get this to Rob and Alex. Because I've been dealing with the same experiences, too. They've got to believe this time. Now that you're having the same issue as me and you finally believe me. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right, we'll talk at you later. Okay. Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you a call later. Hey, thanks. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Rob, what's going on? Julie? Is that you? <laughs> you know what time it is? Yeah, um, you got a few minutes to talk? Yeah, I got a few minutes. I was just sleeping. Alright, I just hung up the phone from Thomas. He finally believes me. You know, I have been trying to convince you guys that I have been hearing howlings and I've been showing all those footprints and that big old hole dug up in my yard. And y'all all laughed at me and thought I was going crazy. Well, I gotta be honest. It did sound a little ridiculous when you were explaining that to me. I thought maybe it was just a coyote. I mean, you do live out on the farm, don't you? Well, now Thomas is believing me. Yeah, serious. He, he, he's freaking out. I mean, it must be pretty bad if Thomas is freaking out. He's on the phone to Alex right now. Well, of course he's on the phone with Alex. They're butt buddies. Look, do you think we can all get together somehow and meet up? We could start off at my place and then work our way up to Thomas's, because it's coming from both places. Yeah, you know, just let me get dressed and uh, feed the dog and get somebody to eat and maybe take the freight down to Texas and then work our way back up to Philly. And then we can gather up a whole bunch of silver bullets and... Yeah, Thomas and I are thinking it's a werewolf. That's why I said silver bullets. Wait, 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 wait. Silver bullets? Wait, are you serious? Silver bullets? I thought you were talking about just wolves. You're talking about werewolves? Silver bullets? Where, where am I going to get silver bullets? I mean, am I supposed to melt my mother's earrings? I know they're silver. Is it supposed to be like Stephen King's It, where I just take some silver earrings and shoot it at his face? You know that's what kills the werewolves. Have you watched all them horror movies before? I know you've seen Silver Bullet, Rob. I don't really know what to do at this point. I mean, Silver... You're asking me to get Silver... Where am I supposed to get Silver Bullets? Walmart don't have any. Gather up some Silver Bullets and, and get you some gun, a gun. I guess I could go get some bullets and paint some silver on them. Alright, can, can you pick up uh, Alex and Thomas and meet me over at my place, say, 8, 9 o'clock-ish? I'll stop by Alex's first because he lives closest to me, and then we're going to shoot over to Philly. I'm going to run up the rocky steps first before I pick up Thomas, okay? I, I need to do that first. Yeah, we got to end this once and for all. All right. All right. Thanks, Rob. All right, Julie. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Silver bullets. Hello? Hello, Julie? Hey, Alex, what's up? Yeah, I just talked to Thomas. Oh, you just got off the phone with Thomas? Yeah, just now. Great, what did he tell you? 
Will he tell me about a possible werewolf sighting or something like that? See, I've been telling you guys this for the past two or three days now, and y'all all thought I was crazy, and I was losing it, and y'all even laughed at me. Yeah, sorry I didn't believe you. No, nah, that, that's okay, Alex. I probably would have believed you either if you had have said the same things. Yeah, no kidding. I just talked to Rob, and uh, he's going to pick you up, and uh, y'all are going to pick Thomas up, and then y'all are going to come back to my place about 8, 9 o'clock-ish. Uh, make sure you have some silver bullets in the gun. So, is it a werewolf or not? Thomas and I are thinking it's a werewolf. Oh, shit. So, uh, just wait for Rob then. Yeah, Rob's gonna pick you up, and he's gonna pick Thomas up, and then y'all gonna meet me at my place, 8, 9 o'clock-ish. And then we'll work our way from my place back to Thomas's, because it's taking place at both places. For all we know, it could be more than one. Okay, fine. I'll help out, but this better not back backfire, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, sure. All right. All right. Fine. Later, Julie. Okay. Thanks, Alex. See y'all soon. Bye. You know, guys, I really picture my tour to be relaxed, drinking hot chocolate, Netflix and chilling, that sort of shit. Not messing around here in the woods, looking for werewolves, trying to get ourselves killed. <sighs> Just saying. Man, my flashlight went out. Anybody got a spare? Of all nights for it to go out. Let's see. Let's, let's try here. Let's see. Have you guys seen this? Have you guys. I keep hearing things over here. I swear. It's like over in this area. I swear to God, it's in this area over here. Oh shit. It's fucking scary out here, man. Shit. I think I fucking heard something. Oh man. I think we should get out of here, guys. I, I don't know. I just don't know. This is a bad idea. If this is your guy's idea of a fucking adventure, then this is not cool because I'm a little freaked out right now. Because we're walking in a direction where there's a creature or creatures and you guys want to walk towards it. Well, the, well, I think we should walk away from it. If you guys want to be detectives or whatever, then fine. But the minute something jumps at us or tries to attack us, I'm out of here. I'm running the opposite direction, man. Oh, God. Crazy. Wait, y'all hear that? It's coming from over there. Look, I'm gonna go on ahead, guys. The quicker I can find this creature and we kill it, the quicker we can get out of these creepy ass woods. Okay, just be careful, Julie. Don't do anything stupid. No, I'm going. Y'all meet me up there. <laughs> say I'm sorry to each and every one of you. Julie, Alex, Thomas, I insisted on everything. I insisted that we all meet up. I insisted that we'd meet out in the middle of nowhere. I insisted that we'd have a bonfire. I even insisted that the hot dogs be burned because I like black dogs, black hot dogs. In spite of what Alex says, it is my fault. Because it was my meetup. My idea. Actually, it was Julie's, but you know what I'm saying. I am so, so sorry. I love you, Mom. Dad. This was my fault, and now because of it, we're... 
hungry. We're cold and hunted. chin. It got a couple marks on me. I'm lucky to be even alive. And I needed my glasses on so badly. Because without these glasses, I'm virtually blind. I couldn't, I cannot see really far. My God, but geez, look at that. Oh my God. you do stay in your homes I'm begging you it's for your own good <laughs> 